Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to calculate the diode current at a given voltage or its voltage at a given current using the PN junction diode equation. Before starting the calculations, let me briefly explain the parameters in the equation. IS or IO is called reverse saturation current because in reverse bias, when the voltage is negative, the exponential term with negative exponent is much smaller than 1 and the current is saturated to minus IS. The current cannot be seen uh, on the IV characteristics because IS is usually very small, much smaller than current in forward bias. Sometimes they draw the characteristics like this with a different scale on negative current axis. As you can see, the current is saturated to minus IS at voltages more negative than about minus 0.1 volt. The value of IS depends on the physical properties of the diode, like doping concentration and device area. Vt equal to Kt divided by Q is called thermal voltage. It is not a physical voltage across the diode or anywhere inside the diode, but is a parameter which has dimensions of voltage and is proportional to temperature. It is related to thermal energy of electrons. T is absolute temperature with unit of Kelvin, which is about uh, 273 more than degrees Celsius. So, if you want to calculate the absolute temperature at, say, 27 degrees Celsius, we need to add 273 and we will have 300 kelvins. The value of Vt at 300 Kelvin or 27 degrees is 0 0.026 volts or 26 millivolts. This is usually considered as room temperature, but it doesn't mean that the temperature in your room is 27 degrees. Here in Liverpool, the exact room temperature can hardly reach 20 degrees. Room temperature means normal temperature conditions. Some people use 25 degrees, some 20, but mostly 27 degree is used because calculations with 300 Kelvin is easier. At temperatures above 22 degrees Celsius or 295 Kelvin, Vt is nearly 0.026 volts. At 16 degrees Celsius or 289 Kelvin, Vt is 0.025 volts uh, or 25 millivolts, which is not that much different. Eta is called ideality factor, uh, which in silicon diodes is between 1 and 2, depending on the current. If you don't know the value of eta or it's not given, you can assume it as 1, which applies to a wide range of currents. For more details, you can watch my video, Ideality Factor, on YouTube. Now let's do some calculations. This is a typical question. A silicon diode has a reverse saturation current of 10 picoamps at room temperature or 300 Kelvin. Calculate its current at voltage of 0.6 volts. Assume ideality factor of 1. The solution is very simple. You just need to put the numerical values into the equation and calculate the current. You should only be careful about the units. For example, IS is given in picoamps, which should be changed to basic unit amps. You know that the prefix pico means 10 power minus 12. So you need to multiply 10 picoamps by 10 power minus 12 to change the unit to amps. Even if you don't change picoamp to amp, it's okay. 
uh, you will have the answer in PQAMS, which you can change it to uh, other units later. By putting the other values and doing the calculations, you will find the current of zero point one oh five amps or one hundred and five milliamps. Remember that the value of the exponential term in forward bias is much larger than one. For example, it is 46 for a voltage of uh, 0.1 volts and is 2200 at voltage of uh, 0.2 volts. So you can always ignore one uh, in forward bias when the voltage is more than around 0.1 or 0.2 volts. What about in reverse? If you have been asked to calculate the current at a voltage of, say, uh, minus 1 volts, it's the same, only you put negative values for voltage in the equation. If the voltage is more negative than uh, minus 0.1 volts, you even, you even don't need to do the calculations because the exponential term is less than 0 0.02 and can easily be ignored compared to 1. The current is simply I nearly equal to minus IS equal to minus 10 picoamps. Only when the absolute uh, value of the voltage is less than 0.1 volts, you need to do the calculations. For example, for V equal to minus 0 0.05, the current is minus 8.5 picoamps. Another type of question is when the diode current is given and you are asked to calculate the voltage across the diode. Again, you can put the numerical values in the equation and calculate the voltage. However, it would be helpful and easier if you we find an equation for voltage versus current. If we divide both sides of the equation by IS, then take one to the other side. We can find the exponential term. Then apply natural logarithm to both sides. And finally, multiply both sides by eta vt. In this way, we have a relationship between diode voltage and its current. Putting the numerical values in the equation, eta is 1 times Vt I is 50 milliamps and Is is 10 picoamps Sorry about this issue. So we find the voltage across diode equal to 
0.58 volts. Remember that in forward bias, the current is usually much larger than IS. So the current ratio is much larger than one and we can easily ignore one in the equation. In the same way, if we have a negative current, we can calculate the voltage. But if you ask at which voltage we have the current of minus 50 picoamps, you cannot find any answer. The current in reverse is limited or saturated to minus IS. We can't have any current more negative than minus IS, in this case minus 10 picoamps. However, for currents within the range, you can find the voltage. For example, if the current is minus 5 picoamps, the voltage is calculated as minus 0.018 volts. Another type of question is design question. When you graduate, you might get a job as a device engineer in a manufacturing company. You might be asked to design a diode to have a specific current at a specific voltage. The first thing you need to do is to calculate the reverse saturation current. Based on that, you can find the physical properties like doping concentration and device area. For this example, we can find IS versus current and voltage. If we put the numerical values, Remember that in this example, for a change, the ideality factor has been given at, as 1.2. So we will find the saturation current of 15 picograms. Thank you for watching.